Okay, uh, basically, uh, where we left off, uh, we didn't actually get to continue from what happened Saturday night, you know. Uh, on the last uh, bit, we had, uh, I would missed the hog, Dad shot at it, we just come out here, and we were uh, waiting for John. However, we didn't know that that was kind of uh, just the kind of the beginning of the night, you know. It's, it, weird things kept going, and uh, so I wanted to at least then turn it over to John and let him know. So, you know, we were, you know, Let's see, I shot at the hog at 4.50, you know, we were back in the truck at 5.50. Um, John's further back in the woods than us, so then I'll turn it over to John here. Uh, all right, so I start coming out at uh, dark, and um, I go to look at my compass, and my compass is broke. At that point, I said, John, <laughs> you're, you got a big problem. And then I remembered that I had the GPS that Adrian uh, helped uh, educate me on, since I've never used one before, and he's techno savvy and I'm not. So, uh, uh, and it, it got me back to the uh, to the truck. So I am extremely grateful yeah. to Adrian because <laughs> I might have been wandering around a good part of the night had it not been for uh, Adrian showing me how to work the uh, GPS. Yeah. And then uh, what's funny after that, so. We come back after John gets back. We're getting our stuff straight, and our we uh, met a guy over here named Zach. You know, and he had his girlfriend Linda with him, and um, Linda had actually come out and said that Zach had killed a six point. We come to find out later that due to new rules and regulations, it was only counted as a five point. So I, of course, had to make the joke that it sounded like Ed Hockley's crew made another uh, great decision like that. Um, basically, uh, the antlers have to you have to have at least one inch on one of the the uh, antlers. And it wasn't quite one inch, so they gave him a five point. But yeah, so here, you know, I missed the hog. He gets a deer, and he actually saw two deer, and I heard him shoot twice. Um, but he ended up getting the one, bringing it out after we had gone. And uh, so, yeah, it was just quite a night, I mean, and a long night for us. So I got to say, it was one of the weirder, uh, weirder days of hunting that we've had in almost decades. You know, just. You know, it's usually like a lot of boredom and a lot of stuff happens, you know, at once, you know, for a very short period, but it just kind of snowballed, just a whole bunch of weird stuff happened, so. Ah. And, Look. and I'll, I'll talk about my, uh, how I was charged. Yeah, yeah, yeah go for and it. Then, and then uh, John and I were at Hickory Mound, and that's a dog hunt area. So we were back at our old honey hole, we call it. And I was coming back out after blazing the new, new well, uh, renovating the old trail we had. And I heard the dogs getting closer and closer. So I got ready. And about 40 feet away from me, coming around this curve, here comes uh, about a 120 pound, 110 pound uh, boar. Red head, I didn't mention that. Red, red uh, boar. And he was in full trot, coming right for me on the path that I was on. So I said, uh, okay. My, put my gun up, but I had my gun on six power from last year and forgot to, uh, uh, you know, put it back on four power. And I raised it up and I couldn't find it. And I thought, so at that time, you know, he's getting closer and my mind starts going quick. You know, what do you do? And I thought, well, I'll just aim down the barrel rather than the scope. And then I thought, no, I think I'll just wait and see till he comes up. If he charges me and he comes right up to me, I'll put the, the barrel point blank on his forehead and pull the trigger, that way I won't miss. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he turned off to the left and he started off and I got a broadside view of him but I didn't want to shoot because I didn't want a big hog. Now I find out that Adrian went one, uh, would, would have gladly taken it for his friend. So yeah. next one I might see if I see one, next another one, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, oh yeah, just for clarifications, that uh, did happen Friday. I got up here Saturday, so, yeah, John had that happen on Friday, and then Saturday followed a really weird day. Sunday, however, turned out to be pretty boring, and so far here on Monday, we're uh, seeing, uh, seeing what we can do. It's still pretty quiet, though, so uh, we'll get back out there.